good morning students how are you all i hope you all are fine at your home and doing your studies well okay last lecture you have studied about the kinetic energy definition of kinetic energy and its formula today you are going to study the derivation of kinetic energy how the formula kept that you are going to study today see here this is the derivation of kinetic energy you are going to see see this first figure i will explain you this figure in this you can see this this is a block block okay which is having mass m now here what happens if a force is acting on the block what happened this will move forward okay so work is done in this if a force is applied and if the object moves from one position to another position work is done over here now you can see this is the f is the force here it is written u is initial velocity v is final velocity and s is the distance traveled by the block now you can see here when the force is applied to the block then this is the initial position when the force is applied the block move from one position to another position and here it stops and this velocity is called as final velocity understood initial velocity of the block final velocity of the block mass is same at both the sides and this is the distance traveled by the block so all these things are written over here explanation and after this as i told you here work is done on the block so here w is equals to force into displacement s okay so this is the formula work done you want to find the kinetic energy's derivation so here what you have to do now see here uh, many students have difficulty to solve the derivation they forgot uh, while writing uh, in paper they you they don't know now which step they have to do so don't mug up this derivation just try to understand it is very simple i will explain you now see uh, you all know now this uh, formula work done is equals to force into displacement okay i will tell you what you have to do how you have to keep it this mind okay now work is equals to now see here it is the force and here it is displacement first you have to find the value of this s okay displacement then you have to find the value of f and you have to substitute in this equation you will get the work very simple way it is now for finding s now you have to you have studied the three equations of motion so here you are going to use the third equation of motion which is v square minus u square equal to 2 as why this equation is choose because your time factor is not there here initial velocity is there final velocity is there and acceleration a okay so what happens so using this equation you can find the value of s you have to sub find the value of s and you have to put here you have to find the value of f and you have to substitute over here then you will get the equation very simple it is just see now you have to write the equation third equation of motion then you can find the s take this 2a term that side okay so you will get s is equals to v square minus u square as it is here multiplied it will go and become division it will divide over here you will get 2a okay so this equation i have given equation number 2 this is the equation number 1 and here now as we have find the value of s now you will find the value of f f means force force now you have studied newton's law in that you have studied force is equals to mass into acceleration okay now we have got f value we have got s value we will put this two values this two equations equation number 2 and equation number 3 we will substitute in equation number 1 and see what you are getting here substituting equations 2 and 3 we are in equation 1 we will get w is equals to value of f is here ma and value of s is here v square minus u square divided by 2a understood till here now see this 2 i am taking outside okay separately i am taking so if this 2 will come out i have written here half this m i have written as it is here this a and this a will get cancelled this both a term will get cancelled so only remaining part is v square minus u square okay now you can see here so this equation you are getting w equal to this 2 is removed out you are getting a half m as it is a and a gets cancelled so you are getting v square minus u square and this is very important this equation is called as work energy theorem okay this is called as work energy theorem because you can see here very important a uh, question can be asked derive the kinetic energy or it can be also asked that derive the equation for work energy theorem so you should know this equation here w means work and this equation indicates the energy so that's why it is called as work energy theorem 
now here you can see now we want to derive kinetic energy so for that purpose if you consider the initial velocity zero if you consider this as zero because it is already at rest condition so here initial velocity u is zero then what will be the kinetic energy and one more thing i will tell you here work done is equal to the kinetic energy so that's why instead of w i have taken here kinetic energy now you know here work is done means it is moved from one position to another means here energy is also there which is kinetic energy which makes the object move so that's why here work done is equal to the kinetic energy ke or it is also it can be written as energy e and small k which indicates the kinetic energy equal to half m as your e u is zero this term will get cancel you will get v square half m v square so this is the kinetic energy okay now this equation is very important question can be there in the exam uh, that define kinetic energy and also derive the equation for kinetic energy of an object so you have to write all this derivation till here if the question is asked for the work energy theorem you have to write till here okay and this is for iit some important results are there from this equation this is very simple just uh, i will explain you how you have to derive this this such type of questions can come in mcq type or in uh, iit exam you can see here if mass of an object is doubled if mass is doubled now see here this is the mass and this is the kinetic energy both how they are they are directly proportional if mass will increase kinetic energy will also increase if mass will decrease kinetic energy also will decrease okay from this in now easily you can keep in mind if mass is doubled means if m is doubled then kinetic energy will also be doubled okay then if mass is half if mass is taken half of that then what happens kinetic energy will also be half because both are directly proportional now speed now we will consider this velocity so now it is square so whatever it happens it will happen double squarely it happens now you see speed of object is double if this speed will be doubled then the kinetic energy will become four times okay four times now here speed is become half if the speed has become half then the kinetic energy will be four times one fourth okay so this is the important result question can be asked if mass is uh, double then kinetic energy will be dash okay so this understood write the derivation in your notebook and show me send me thank you